I'm going to freely say right now that the video you're getting ready to watch is probably going to piss a lot of people off. You might not even agree with what I'm getting ready to talk about in this vlog. But I felt compelled to talk about it anyway. If you disagree with me, leave it in the comments. I'm fine with that. I'm very responsive with it. You want to hate on it? Hate on it. Because it's not a popular topic. And it's not something that y'all are going to want to hear my opinion on because it's not a popular opinion. Motorcycle safety. And I should preface all of this by saying I am not a motorcycle instructor. I'm not. I don't claim to be. I don't pretend to be. So this is just my opinion and my thoughts on some stuff because we've had a few fatalities around here recently. That was one of the reasons I made the what martial arts and motorcycles have in common video. But I left this part out of it and I left it out intentionally because it's not going to be a popular topic. It, it's likely to make some people angry. What's up? Jim here. Welcome back to J Street Moto. Welcome to the channel. If it's your first time, mentioned in the intro, there was something I left out of the what do motorcycling and martial arts have in common video that I did a couple of months back. All I can hope is that at least one of you watch this video and it might save your life. That's what I can hope. If that just happens one time, then I've achieved my objective, regardless of how much it pisses you off to hear what I'm getting ready to say. I wanted to talk to y'all about choices. That's really what this video is about. It's about choices. And I know every single one of you, if you ride, you've been sitting around someplace having a beer with your buddies who ride, and you've heard the statement, I had no choice. I had to lay her down. Didn't have a choice. I ended up hitting that car. I did not have a choice. Whenever I hear someone say I didn't have a choice, I think about two things. One, you're right. In that nanosecond where shit went wrong, where someone turned in front of you, as is the case and what happened to the guy that just died here recently, someone made a left turn right in front of him. I agree. In the nanosecond that that happened, that motorcyclist did not have a choice. But what about all the choices between before he got on his motorcycle and when that nanosecond occurred that they made? What about all those choices? Did I'm getting that? Told you you weren't going to like to hear this video. And I'm going to try and not make it too preachy because I first and foremost freely admit I am guilty of a lot of the shit that I'm getting ready to tell you. You should not make that choice. That was a bad choice. I will freely admit that I do it too. Doesn't change that it's wrong. Turns out the guy was speeding. So he made the choice to go 20, 25 30 miles over the speed limit on the road that he was riding on. You look up the statistics for what causes most motorcycle accidents, especially when you start looking at fatalities. Speed and impairment, two biggest, two biggest outliers right there. Speed and impairment are the two things that cause more guys and girls to go down on motorcycles. Am I relieving the driver of their responsibility? Not at all. Am I saying I feel for them because it was an impossible situation? Yes, I am. So how does that factor into choices? Well, <laughs> when you throw your leg over a bike, you make the choice for how fast you're going to go down a road. I'm on a 30 mile an hour road right now. And I'm choosing to do 
35, 36. And I'm setting the cruise control to do this because I know this road is patrolled by the police in my city constantly. But what if I was doing 50 down this road? And there are roads coming into it from neighborhoods on each side. What if I'm hauling ass down this road, 50, 60 miles an hour? Somebody thinks they can make the turn because they see me way back there and figure, oh, well, you know, I got time. Can I blame them for turning in front of me? I don't think I can. I, I don't think I can because I made a choice. Now, granted, in that nanosecond when they do turn in front of me and I have no other choice, you're right. I had no other choice. I had a choice way back where I decided to choose the speed that I was going to ride on the road. Will that choice always result in me ending up in that nanosecond choice that I don't have an option? Not always. And if it hasn't happened to you yet, God bless you. You've been lucky. But the reality is, it's the other choices that matter. The other choices are what make sense. They are the things that you can control. They're the things that happen where you can do what you need to do in order to make it home safely to your family. Make bad choices, you're going to suffer consequence. At some point, you're going to suffer consequence. That's what this whole episode's about. Here's another choice you can make. I'm on a two-lane road right now. That has a speed limit of 40 miles an hour. I tend to ride on it between 45 and 50. It does have roads, and it does have turns where people can make left turns in front of me. I always ride with my high beam on. I'm not going to split traffic or split lanes in an area where no one is familiar with that, where it is not necessarily illegal, but isn't something that commonly happens. You're increasing your risk. See what I'm getting at? There's a bunch of choices you make every time you throw your leg over a motorcycle. There are choices that you make. And all of those choices feed into... What possibly becomes that nanosecond where you don't have a choice? Is this popular? No, it's not. This is not a popular topic. People don't want to talk about this. How many of you go out, you love riding on the twisties, how many of you go out riding on the twisties and at the speed that you were doing them, you cannot stay in your own lane. You're crossing the double line. You know what happens. I know it happens. I've witnessed it happen. It's happened to me. That's a choice you make. To ride beyond your ability is a choice that you make. You can't then sit there later and say, oh, well, you know, I didn't have a choice. I ran into the front of somebody. That was their hood ornament. I didn't have a damn choice. Yeah, you did. You could have gone slower on the road that you were on. If you were to ask my kids, who are, well, they're not kids anymore. They're damn adults. If you were to ask them, what's the one thing I always said every time they left the house? They would tell you, you always told us, make good choices. I wasn't speaking about the choice that happens in that nanosecond. I was speaking about all the choices that lead up to that nanosecond in the hopes that it prevented it. In martial arts, we have this concept we talk about all the time, situational awareness. Situational awareness is understanding your environment. It's understanding everything around you. It is understanding you. What state am I in? Am I fit to be getting on that bike right now and riding? Or should I wait an hour and a half or so and piss my family off by getting home late because I needed to sober up it before I got on the bike. Pretty sure 
any wife, any husband, any kid out there is going to be glad that you got it that you got home safely. They're not going to be mad at you for being gone an hour or two hours longer than you said you were going to be. In order for you to be able to ensure that you got home safely. Situational awareness, guys. Understand yourself. Understand the things going on around you. What do you do? Do you make good choices? Do you make good decisions? Now, does it occasionally happen that something, someone else coming the other way crosses your double line? Absolutely it does. It's happened to me. It killed a very good friend of mine. He was on his Ducati up in the mountains, and a tractor trailer was on the road it should not have been on. It crossed the double line during a blind curve. He didn't see it until it was too late. It hit him, and he died. And that shit happens. I'm not saying nanoseconds happen even if you make all the right choices, because they do. That happens. All right, I'm done preaching, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you hung around. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Check on your friends. Share this with your friends. Always ride safe. Yeah, ready? One, two, three, shoot. Ah. Asshole. Really? <laughs> Peace out, bitches! <laughs>